<laughs> What's up, guys? So it has been, it has been a minute. It's been a couple days. Um, so yeah, I was on vacation and I am officially back. So you're gonna start seeing some more videos. Um, and I don't want to just say, oh, you're gonna see some more videos, because I feel like I always do that. I always say, oh, you're gonna see videos, and then they never happen. So you're seeing the video. This is the video. So this is basically a new series I wanted to start, and it's essentially just my rambling videos, but with a little bit more of a concise point. I'm going to try to focus on, you know, subjects, and most of the time, um, I'm going to be workshopping ideas. So we're kind of getting to a point where a lot of the big, you know, big uh, content ideas that I had, such as Invention and God Wars 2, we've, we've done them. They're out. God Wars 2 is out, and um, it's time for something new. So I've been thinking about some things, and... John, myself, and Pawn uh, have started Group Iron Man on RuneScape 3. Yes, we, we, we made unofficial Group Iron Man on Ars 3 because RuneScape announced that they probably weren't going to be doing RuneScape, uh, Group Iron Man, at least RuneScape 3. They said it's been shelved until mobile, until the bank rework. Um, so there's a good chance we won't see it for another year or two. We just decided to make our owns. Um, owns. Nice. Um, but I have uh, some recordings for that soon. You, you'll see it soon. But while I've been doing that, I've been getting a lot of ideas for, for what to do on Revival. And one of the things that I kind of like is doing an expansion. I, I, I don't know exactly how to word it, but I want to do like expansion cities where I all of a sudden, you know, one one area of the map, we just kind of upgrade. We add a couple new things because Revival, we're just it, it's it's getting to a point where. The, the weapons are getting better, the items are getting stronger, and we're, we're at a point where we have to do, um, we have to really be conservative about what we change, because we could be ruin, ruining the game, um, you know, we're very limited on what we, what we you know, the resources we have, so we've got to make better use of, of our, um, of sort of the littler things, you know what I mean, like, we, we can't always have a huge update, we've got to have a lot more consistent smaller updates, because... If you don't update the game consistently enough, it's hard to maintain the player count. That's the thing that keeps the server up. It doesn't matter if you advertise videos here or there. If you don't update the server, no one cares. So that's that's something we've got to work more on. I think fixing bugs and doing smaller batches of content where it's not exactly always going to be, oh, best in slot, you know, Raids 2 or God Wars 2 or, you know, who else knows what. It's, it's going to be smaller things, but um, the goal is to give them purpose. So... What I want to do for the first one is sort of expand the desert. So there's a lot of uh, desert, and really in our game you don't you don't see much of it. The only time you ever go in the desert is if you do bandits, and that's you know that's 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 it, that's it. And uh, the home location of my last server, Dark Asylum, was actually in Narda. So I would like to do something cool there, but. Um, there's a couple things we could do with it. I mean, we can improve some skills. I think uh, mining is a skill that's never been changed since day one. I honestly can't think of a single thing I've added to mining because, I mean, like the, other than like the rune bar, but that was a long time ago. I mean, you could probably check the updates. Um, so there could be some sort of granite mining where it's really good experience, but it's valueless. Or opposite where you get a lot of value out of it maybe you can crack open the grandstone and find like a bunch of gems or ores or something like that i mean there's there's quite a few things we can do one thing i really like to do is sort of have like a couple skills involved into it so like the entire update is just this little package of, of everything to do in the desert so we could add let's you know with that mining thing there i mean there's plenty of spots for fishing we can just kind of make polivinich Pil Pil polinovich or narda i think i want to kind of i don't want to do narda um, I, I would like to just as an homage to my own server, but I just don't want to, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not feeling it this time around. I think Polinovich would be a little cooler, and I don't think I've ever done anything there ever. In, in, in my entire history of, of private servers, I don't think I've ever done anything in the city. And that would be kind of cool, make it a little hub and add some fishing spots. And then have this, you know, this mining camp right here. Um, could add some Slayer, could sort of expand on Calphites. There is a Calphite Slayer task, but the only Calphite you actually kill is the Queen. So we could add guardians and give them some interesting drops. Um, you know, there's the item called the Karis, which, uh, you know, let me look that. Right, 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 right. I had to refresh my memory. So it's obtained from contact, and it's basically does a bunch of extra damage against cow fights and scare bites. So we can sort of expand on that. I just think that there's a lot of uh, a lot of room for it. So start thinking up ideas. This is really going to be a back and forth type of series. I really want to get your comments. So in order to encourage comments, um, 
make a comment with your ideas, your thoughts, and include your username, and you'll enter a chance to win a bond. A $5 bond, because I'm cheap. But still, free $5 bond, why not, right? All you have to do is, is help yourself, because content's fun, right? Um, I mean, there's, there's a couple NPCs that I'd like to do something with. I've been sort of thinking about quests, and if that's something we, you know, can do, because I'd like to do quests. I, I think one of the things that, that it's going to quest scare people. I, like, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of people that are like, oh, yes, quests. But I think I can do a good enough job to where it's not, like, annoying or grindy. And, you know, I think I've got a good sense of humor. So I think I can make them pretty fun. And I think there's definitely a lot of opportunity to, to, to do something. Because there's a lot of cool NPCs. Like, let me show you. So these two right here that I like the most. There's this dude who kind of looks like a Florin, but he's a crocodile. He's got, like, the crocodile head. Instead, and then the Inakra, who um, is a big part of the, that quest series and whatnot. Um, there could be a lot of potential with her, too. I mean, what is this other one she has? Oh, no. Let's uh, check this dude. I mean, there's a, there's a ton of cool NPCs. Some of them I've already used, like the Bone Guard. I've made that just, uh, well, it's just a random dude. But um, I think there could be something really cool, and I could sort of tie it in with the Florin's um, lore, if you will. I've sort of created my own lore form, just kind of based off of old schools. And really doesn't matter. I don't know if anyone's gotten it yet, but there is a secret drop from God of Wars 2. And it sort of is obvious if you look into what I've put in the game. But once somebody figures that out or somebody gets that as a drop, that'll make a lot more sense. And uh, could definitely do some sort of quest series tied into it. So that could be interesting. And it could um, you know better explain the war. And one thing I'd like to do is God of Wars 3. <laughs> like, no joke. I think, why not, right? Why, has, why isn't Runes... I don't understand why Runescape 3 hasn't done it yet. Like, why haven't they milked that? I would definitely do it. I would do it I would do it with new gods, too, just for fun. But uh, that's that's way down the road. I definitely wouldn't do that anytime soon. But yeah, give me your ideas. Give me your thoughts. I think that there's a lot of space here for potential. I think another thing we could do next, for like the next city expansion, if you will. I think that's probably the best thing that I'll call them city expansions. Just so you're, you're going around more places. One thing I'd like to improve on is the teleport system. Uh, so for most people, the, um, the m most people know this, the Vincillo actual server has a, it's like a teleport interface and whatnot. And I removed it because, one, we didn't make it, so I didn't really want to leech too much of their content. And um, I just didn't like it. So we removed that and added the teleports. And even though I'm a fan of that, no one else is. <laughs> so that's another bad example of, like, of just doing something for myself and it not working out. I tried to get everybody else's input, but obviously I failed in that regard, so... When Dark has a little more time on his hand, I'd like to have him make an interface. I know he's been talking about wanting to make one. I did um, do this right here, if you if you haven't tried that before. Before, I, don't, I think it didn't do anything. I think it just said, use your spellbooks, but now I actually have it to where it takes you there. Um, I had a player quit because he said that the map didn't work and he didn't know how to navigate the game. And I feel like that's something we really got to improve on. So there's probably going to be a lot of changes coming soon. To revival. I want to change possibly the home location, so sort of figure out where you stand on that issue. If you like the idea of that, or if you really like Port Serum. I like Port Serum a lot. Uh, it was John's idea to put it here, and that's kind of the only thing we've kept of all of the John's ideas. Um, if you didn't know John, this was originally John's server, but like right when he when we started the server, he had a he got a job, which he still works there today, so it's a good job. But um, I took it over on. Yeah, we've kept it ever since. I, I just think it's not really... Um, it's kind of difficult for newer players to understand what, where to go. I think we could probably make improvements to this home if we wanted to keep it there. Um, but it could just be possible to just get a fresh start somewhere else. I think um, one of the things that I, I didn't do is... You know how a lot of um, servers will have... The name of the person will be like their occupation or like what they do. Um, do I have any... Is there any example? Why is my... I think I got like a hair stuck in my freaking mouse wheel. Ugh. I don't know if there's anybody that... that uh, my point is, is... Oh, yeah, this guy right here. So this is a prime example. General Store. That, like, he doesn't have a name. It, his name is just Store General Store. Um, I didn't like that. I like to give everybody like, names and whatnot. And John did as well. A lot of these people he picked out himself. Uh, but it's kind of confusing for some people. Like, people don't know what the hell what shops are. Personally, I've, like, I've, I've, I've played this game since day one, which was, what, a year and a half ago? And I still go through both of these shops like 30 times. I click these shops like a million times because I always just forget which one is which. Like, I know he's the farmer, but 
having this option come up is just kind of annoying. Like, it just could be cleaned up and made a lot easier for users. So we should definitely consider a new home location. I'm thinking I, I want to keep it somewhere with water because the, one of the original ideas um, that he had for it was he just liked the, he liked the idea of being able to skill everywhere at home. He wanted everybody to be skilling together. And I, I like that idea as well. That's why we had the fishing spots there. And we tried to incorporate trees and stuff, but if you know anything about Revival, it didn't turn out that way. You know, the mining guild is right here in Remington, so we tried our best to do it. It didn't work out as well, but we can try to move it somewhere better. I know Pictorus Fishing Colony is one that comes up. Um, there's I mean, there's Zaya options. I, I would kind of want to stray away from Zaya just because no one... There's not a whole lot of people that know it. Like, they've, they've even changed, the, they changed it recently, so... It might be confusing for new players as well. And it's going to be confusing for old players. Like, no one's going to be able to uh, uh, adjust to it. But, you know. Could do something weird like Witch Haven. Although, again, you know, we might want to do something easier to find. I'm not even against just... I don't want to do Classic Edgeville. I'm against... I, I just can't do it. But I would do Varrock. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Um, there should be a server update tomorrow. And if there is, I will have a video on that.